Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with IEBA Communications, and today I want to talk to you about how you can make sure that you get your stream to the intended destination when you're in adverse situations or when you're in the middle of nowhere. Today, I'm going to take a look at the Teradek Link Backpack. So let's just say you're out in the middle of nowhere and you have multiple Wi-Fi devices and you want to get them on an Ethernet network. Now, this could be with vMix or Wirecast or a TriCast or anything that uses NDI, in which case you can use phones or other wireless uh, devices that hook onto a Wi-Fi network, including pan, tilt, zoom cameras. So there's a lot of use for this out there. This device is... Uh, a series of pieces from um, Teradek. The link is a rugged battery powered Wi Fi hotspot with four uh, high gain antennas or four antenna inputs. It comes in this backpack here that, if you were mobile and I don't know, you were like uh, on a hike and you needed to do a multicam live stream, you could do that. Because they, ooh, look, it even has a chest strap. So you could, you know, I've got the entire wireless kit on my back. Now, the backpack is not just the link. The link is the Wi-Fi access point, but it also includes four connections for four cellular modems called nodes. These modems can be outfitted with different carrier SIM cards. So you could have T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, and AT&T, all four different networks so that as the bandwidth changes and as you move in and out of like little pockets, because they're not always on the same tower, different towers and things like that, the system load balances and bonds all four of those cellular connections into one big fat pipe and then on the other end you hook into Teradek Core which is a solution that they have to take those four incoming streams and put those packets back into order and then deliver your stream to one or multiple destinations so the core is not just bonding core is bonding and restreaming it cores a whole bunch of different things so let's take a look at this backpack now the um it's not that heavy because the pieces that are in it aren't that big or, or um, weighty. But as with all Teradek gear, it's very well built. So is the bag. The bag here um, is this big backpack and it's got a clear cover here and it's got like little side panels. So it actually seems f kind of weatherized, although there is like a little pocket right here for cables to come through and you know rain could go through there so i would not go out into this thing with it in a downpour um and you know if you're outdoors in the middle of nowhere in a downpour you probably wouldn't be trying to stream anyway um unless you're trying to do you know the weather channel stuff but um the backpack has a clear window on top so you can see what's going on with the link now if we open this up uh, there's a heating vent here, and then there's a zipper that goes all the way around. And now you see that this is a very complex little package here. And it's, I have to say, really well done. I mean, it's obviously built very custom. Everything about it is per has a purpose. You've got two nodes over here. You've got a node here and a node here. So you've got four different cellular modems, and I'll pull one of these out so you can take a look at it. These are the node, and you've got two high gain uh, antennas on here. So this, this is way, way better than you're ever going to see when you're trying to do uh, cellular with your cell phone. Your cell phone, hey, look, I've got this stream. Yeah, but you know, the antennas that are in a cell phone are just bent little traces, you know, and your hand is in the way or other, your head is in the way and think, there's a lot going on. Whereas you look at these things, these are big external antennas with gain that also allow multiple signals to go in and out at the same time. So you could be doing what they call MIMO, um, cellular, at the cellular level. 
Now the nodes have a quarter 20 on the bottom, so they can actually be used independently and powered. And there's a SIM card door right here. It says SIM card. And there's a power light and an RF light on top here. So let's take a close look at what we got going on in here. We've got this Teradek node with the four Wi-Fi antennas on this side, and you've got a RF cable going all over the place. You've got an RF antenna back there, one Velcroed here, here, and then another one back there. So they're spread out uh, throughout the backpack. These are not very big antennas. I've seen much bigger Wi-Fi antennas, so I don't know if the Wi-Fi is gonna do as well as the cellular. You know, I've seen like high gain, big Wi-Fi antennas. So I kind of anticipated that they would be bigger. Now, down here, you've got your power input and then you've got four connections to the four nodes right here. So looking at this, you can see that these antennas are actually pretty darn big. And there's your power and data all going through one cable. SIM card goes here quarter 20 on the bottom and then on top there are indicators for power and uh, signal so there are four of these nodes and the, each one has a dedicated pocket pocket here there's a pocket here and then over here you've got two more um, in outlined pockets in here and they're it's zippered into place and there's a mesh so that the heat can get out and all of this is powered on this back plane here, there's a brace and then there's panel, this uh, metal bracket, there's a V-lock battery. Now, if you are used to working in the professional world, you're used to V-lock batteries. Sony came out with this mount, but everybody makes them now. IDX was one of the first lithium ion ones, but now everybody's got lithium ion. And a, you can get big batteries, small batteries, you know, shorter batteries, they're only this big. Um, V-lock is as a great standard, there's also an Anton Bauer uh, standard or gold pin or whatever they're calling it. I don't use them, never use them. Um, both work equally well. And you can get this outfitted with either plate built in, depending on what batteries you have access to. So that's not really an issue. You don't have to do it. Um, it comes that way. So I just lock this in here and, you know, just locks into place. And it's actually built for a bigger battery or the IDX batteries actually have some of them you can stack. So even with two of them stacked, it's still underneath the space here. And the nodes are all, all the antennas are above this. So the antennas are in the clear and they're not blocked by the batteries themselves. So that's pretty nicely designed here. And then if we zip this back up, and go on top here, you can see um, there's a port here for a USB. We can turn that on and while that's booting, you can also, if needed, there is a USB port on the bottom and there are two ethernet ports, one for LAN, one for WAN. So if you are in an area where you do have um, uh, a LAN capability, you can take the Ethernet on a wire and you can add that into the node as a, an internet connection. And then you can share all of this bonding on a wire to other devices through a switch or a router. And that way, if you have devices let's just say you're going with anything that's laptop based or a TriCaster, you can go hardwired to your master switcher or even hardwired to your camera if you wanted to. That is a really nice feature because what you're doing then is you're taking half of that bandwidth, that wireless bandwidth, all those, you know, let's just say I'm gonna do a multi-camera live switch with iOS devices, which is exactly how I'm doing this show right now. I have one, two, three, uh, four wireless cameras all bouncing around through Wi-Fi to the iPad. Now, that means four wireless streams go to the access, the uh, wireless access point, and then four wireless streams go from the access point to the iPad. So it's two hops of four streams. If you put everything on a wire to your mixing device, you're taking half of that traffic away thusly giving 
the wireless aspect of your router better focus to just ingesting the streams. Now, of course, if you're doing pan tilt zoom cameras or uh, other things where you can control the camera, there is gonna be bi-directional traffic to those camera devices anyway. So now, bring this back up here, you can see that my five gig is up, my two gig is up, power's on, all my lights are on, and everything here is good. Now, yeah, I'll take that, I'm gonna leave that on. And we're gonna transition. So now you can see that I have Teradek Live Air going here. Uh, down here I've got my sources. Up here I've got my overlays, and I can change the size of these things. Here you can see the health of my different things: 720p, and then uh, codec is AVC, and then blah, blah, blah. and then this is my cloud information. So you can see that this is how I am streaming out to the web here. And so let's go back to my shots. So this is what's going on here. And then over here, auto, there we go. Oh, wait, point back, auto, okay, there we go. So now you can see I'm looking at my Teradek cloud configuration. I'm actually talking to the link, which is right up here. This is all battery powered, so that's the link. It's talking to several uh, cellular modems and it's powered from an IDX battery and I've got this hardwired connection and uh, you can look at the network and it'll bounce over here to the network so you can see it's my uptime addition settings da 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 and I go to my status and then you can see uh, I've got three modems going here I have a fourth one uh, it doesn't I got three Verizon T-Mobile and AT&T going I've got uh, two more uh, that could be plugged in on USB ports and then I've got a third modem that doesn't have a SIM in it so that's what I've got going on here and there's my LAN so I, this tablet is on the LAN so that I could talk directly to it and then over on the oh see this is me watching the stream so that's how far back it is uh, if I click over here you can see in Teradek Core this is my stream and uh, I was trying to stream to YouTube and uh, my uh, Ibacom page on Facebook. I have a problem with YouTube and I'm still trying to figure that out, but you can put as many things as you want here and have them all set up and then you can have multiple sources show over here and then you just drag, you just drag and drop where you want it to go. Or, which is a cool thing, you can come over here no, 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 and set up groups. So I set up one for Ibacom. If I'm doing a tech thing, I could just grab this. And this group is made up of my YouTube and my Facebook. So you can have like a soccer game has this and you know, you could set it up by client or by event and it's going to all these different pages and Facebook and Instagram and Periscope and Twitter and I, I don't even care where you want to send it. So that's what's going on over there. And you can see this is over here. And inbound. Let's what I had. I had oh inbound streams, decoders, Sputniks. So the Sputnik is the uh, thing that restreams what I've got coming in. And I think if I say details here, and then network statistics, you'll see. This is what's going on right now on my Sputnik. I don't know why they call it Sputnik, but they do. So this is what's going on. I am doing bits per second. So it would be nice if they did kilobits per second, but what's coming in and what's going out. And I have been going for 17 minutes. Yep, about 17 minutes and so this way I can see that my inbound stream is good. I can see my outbound stream is good. Um, connections, you can see it's my Frisco Studios iPad Pro is coming in here. And I am not recording it. So it's just gonna be what it is. And then when you set, wanna set up your channels, here you can set up your channels and have all your little channels on here. And then you can set up your groups and you can come over here and you add a group and then you drop in what things you want. Well, here I'll show you. 
You click over here, add a group, and then here's my new group. I give it a name, blah, 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 blah. And then I say, oh, I want this and this in my group. And then I say, save. And now I've got two groups, technically with the same stuff, but that's just the way it is. So uh, let's go back to my dashboard. There it is. And we come back over here to inventory and Sputniks and details and network. They ought to have an easier way to get to that, but that is my traffic right now. And then we go to here and I am back. There's my little remote camera. It looks funny, but it's just a protective case around an SE. I am gonna quickly check to see if there are any questions on the IEBACOM page. Nope, there are not that I can see. Let me go back to the home page and see if there's anything different there. Do, 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 do. Nope, no questions there. So uh, this has been a quick look at Teradek Live Air pushing through the portable link backpack bonding multiple cellular connections to core which is a service for data aggregation direction splitting re, re streaming and things like that and um, taking a look at how it looks on the internet and assessing your data stream and everything like that so that <laughs> it's a pretty comprehensive little uh, whirlwind tour um, I don't think anybody saw this but maybe if you all tune in later you'll get to see it and um, check it out the link is a very cool product and um, Maybe a couple little hardware things I might change, but overall, it's a really cool little product that can make sure that, you know, you're out doing a sporting event or whatever, and you need to do a live stream. You could hardwire your camera in over Ethernet, or you could, uh, it's got a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. I would use bigger antennas, but, you know, they say the antennas are perfectly matched to the system, and it will work very well. So, um... I think it's a you know very purpose-built product and if you are looking for something like that give the Teradek Link Pro a look. My name is Anthony Barocas with IEBA Communications and I'm gonna say thanks for watching.